If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to be with you forever. The Spirit of truth whom the world can never accept, since it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he is with you. He is in you. I shall not leave you orphans. I shall come to you. In a short time the world will no longer see me, but you will see that I live, and you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever holds to my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and reveal myself to him. Magandang araw po, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome na naman po sa ating uh, Reflection Sunday. And today, gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung Footprints in the Sun. Uh, for sure, nabasa niyo, I, I assume na nabasa niyo na po yung Footprints in the Sun. Kung hindi niyo na pa po nabasa, pwede niyo po siyang i-google sa internet footprints in uh, footprints in the sun mm, sinasabi do na sometimes sa buhay natin uh, iniisip natin na nag-iisa tayo especially to the yung mga toughest times ng buhay natin uh, akala natin nag-iisa pero Huwag po kayo maniwala kay Satan pag niluloko niya kayo ng ganyan kasi hindi kayo nag-iisa. Which, to, uh, to our gospel today, uh, si Jesus Christ, nagpapaalam na, nagahabili na, pero para siyang nanay. Uh, ang isip niya pa rin is uh, sa atin. Kumbaga pa, uh, kumbaga pa, Sinis, uh, sinisig, kahit paalis na siya, sinisigurado niya pa rin na okay tayo. Kumbaga pa magiging okay tayo. Sabi doon sa yung first, uh, first verse, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Then yung sumunod is, yung pinaka-important uh, ano ng gospel ngayon is, I will ask the Father to send another, uh, another paraclete para maging uh, kaagapay po natin. Kumbaga pa paalis na siya pero hihingi niya sa sa amang makapangyarihan na mag, mag magpadala ng another paraclete in in other version of the Bible is advocate means helper, katulong which is yun na nga yung Holy Spirit na para mapasa at uh, puma sa atin para pag wala na siya Nandiyan yung spirito ng Diyos na aagapay sa atin sa oras ng ating pangailangan. Especially these days po mga kaibigan. This, uh, uh, these are tough times, challenging days uh, because of the wake of this pandemic, uh, COVID-19. Pero hindi po tayo nag-iisa mga, mga kaibigan. Nandiyan po ang Diyos, nandiyan po ang banal na spirito para umagapay sa atin at hindi tayo pababayaan. There, there are times na akala mo ikaw na lang naglalakad kagaya sa footprints in the sun pero hindi pala the Lord is walking with you and kung inaakala mo minsan na kumbaga pa ikaw lang ang naglalakad actually hindi ka naglalakad kasi kinakarga ka ni Jesus Christ at mga paayo ni Jesus Christ hindi kanya pababayaan kasi nandyan yung Holy Spirit para umagapay sa inyo po. And for that, may God be praised and let me lead you to our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we want to praise and thank you for the love and care you showed upon us. May your Advocate 
the Spirit of Truth continue to help us, especially in this time of need. Let your guidance always show us the right path. May you teach us to trust and hope in you every time. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>